Hey there, Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. This, this is my newest shot shell press. This is the press I haven't been able to stop talking to with my friends. You gotta see this thing. It is actually electrically actuated. It is a six station progressive shot shell press available in a variety of gauges. I'm gonna show you a 12 gauge loading in this particular video. And it also has this really cool gas strut. When you actuate the press, and when it indexes the shell plate, it does so super, super smooth. This means everything's gonna run just that little bit better. You're not gonna be spilling shot out of the top of the hole. It is awesome. And in the last video, I did a complete unboxing. We set the press completely up to a baseline level. You're gonna wanna check out that video if you're interested in this press. Now we're gonna pick up where we left off and we're gonna do the final loading prep and we're gonna load some 12 gauge Remington Gun Club holes. These are really awesome, it's my favorite load. I'll have more details in the complete write-up. So let's get started. So what did I have to do? Well, there's the normal steps of taking your plugs out from your reservoir, loading your shot, loading your powder. And then there's something really interesting here about this press. You take this cover off, you get your primers out, and what I love about this tray is all you need to do is set the tray down, make sure that your primers are, are inverted. You just set the tray here, you lift, and you're done loading primers. How awesome is that? What's also cool about this, we're gonna put this, this cover back on here, just clicks into place, is that when we raise this tray, that turns on priming, just like that. If we don't want priming turned on for while we're setting up, we just loosen the set screw, tilt the tray down, and it's not gonna feed primers. I love the fact that this press has a primer shut off. It's awesome. So, the first shells I've put through this press needed a little bit of tweaking. I wanna show you up close and personal how you can run a single hole through the press and how you can fine tune the settings. It's really not that complicated. Let me show you. So this is basically how things went from left to right. The very first shell had excessive crimp and then I backed things off a little bit, still had a little bit of a swirl. Then I backed it off too far and I had a little bit of a gap in the middle there, the little hole, and then finally ended up with a perfect result. So what I had to do was I had to adjust the crimping station cam. I had to lift it and lower it. That got me most of the way there. And then the final adjustment that I made was the crimp starter. I raised it just a little bit. Let me show you those adjustments real quick. So here we are looking at the right hand side of the press and I'll start with the crimp starter. First of all, all you have to do is pull down and the crimp starter cup will come off just that quickly. Uh, I was using the eight pleat crimp starter, which is the one that comes installed on the press, but it also comes with a six pleat crimp starter. So if you wanna switch, it's just as quick as popping it off and popping it back on. Now to raise the crimp starting station for less crimp start, there's just two nuts, one on the bottom and one on the top of the post here that it clicks onto. I just raised it a little bit, tightened it back down, and that uh, was a real improvement on the result of the crimp and how the appearance of the shell looked. I also adjusted the cam, which adjusts the height of the actuation of the crimp station itself. And all you need to do is take the included Allen key that comes with the press, loosen the Allen screw, and then raise or lower the cam position here. And it just slides in the slot. I raised it for less crimp, and that's what ultimately, after some fine tuning, got me to the perfect result, that and the crimp starter adjustment. So these kinds of adjustments are easy. It kind of depends on the load that you're using. You wanna use an approved load from load data with the appropriate hole, powder charge, shot and wad. And once you get that all dialed in, it's just a matter of making fine tuning adjustments and uh, you should be off and running.
So when we want to run a single hole through the press and be able to remove it from the press mid-cycle, what we want to do is disable the auto-indexing feature, which is as simple as taking this lever, moving it forward, and dropping it down out of the way. Now we can manually index the press. Okay, so let's manually index a hull all the way through all the stations. We're going to insert the hull in station number one. We're going to drop a single primer here just ahead of station number one. Hold the buttons down. It's going to size the base and deprime. Now we can just manually turn the press. It's going to half index, full index. That drops the primer in. Now we're going to prime and insert our powder charge at the same time. Okay, now we take a wad and we hold it above the wad insertion punch and then we're going to get our shot as well here. Okay, you can see the shot in the top of the hole there. Now we do our crimp starting. And then we do our main crimp. And then it finishes off with a taper. And there we have it, a very nice looking shell. Let's re-engage the auto indexing and send a shell through the press with auto indexing. So part of the auto indexing linkage actually fell down while I was manually indexing the shells. Not a problem. All we need to do is get the linkage up into position right uh, where the hook is in the hole there and then we're just going to reattach the spring to the linkage there ready to roll okay so now let's run a single shell through the press with auto indexing same thing insert into station number one insert a primer into the primer hole sizing and depriming and then look at our ultra smooth engagement there with the indexing. Awesome. Powder charge. And priming. Take a wad, insert it into the punch. We've got our wad and our shot. Looking good. Okay. Crimp start. Our crimp. and our taper crimp. Oh yeah, looking perfect. Without further ado, let's get into full progressive loading operation. The first thing we're going to do is loosen the screw here, retighten it, tilting the priming tray up. That's going to start to auto feed primers. And we're just going to get to it. Time. We just insert a new hole, hold the buttons down, and then when we get holes into the wad and shot station, we just insert a wad each time. Getting primers each time, that's good. It gets into quite a comfortable rhythm. Pretty soon you get kind of into a groove. Okay, we got holes in all six stations now. Now comes the moment when the shell goes down the shell slide. I love that sound. Very smooth sequence. Mm -hmm. 
And when we're ready to run down the press, we just tilt the primer tray out of the way so that we don't get automatic feeds there. Continue to insert wads in the wand station as long as we've got the shell there. And we'll just complete the cycling process until all of the shells are clear of the stations. There we go. And that's it. You can see the Mech 9000E with Automate is very efficient, very pleasant to use. I am absolutely loving it. Now with all of this shotgun ammunition, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do and I got more shotgunning adventures planned. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I got load data, I got a lot more information and insights in the accompanying blog post. First link down in the video description. Till next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.